I won't thank God. I got chairs on my knees. I pray so much. My family, all the prayer warriors, everybody who came to San Diego to support me. Yeah, Boosie Bo. Yeah. BT, I need three tickets. I go to BT Award, but I got to go with my attorneys. That's me. That's me, bad. That's me. I'm out. That's me. Boozy Boo. I'm back. I'm back. That's me. Yeah, and I just dropped the album today. First day back. Pressure. You can get it right now. But BT, I need three tickets. I need a haircut. Oh man, I'm out of breath already. Who's <laughs> it? Hey! Following the loudest one week stay in jail ever, hip hop's most polarizing personality, Boosie Badass, is on his way home. So Boosie is now fighting a federal gun charge. This comes after Boosie was originally slated to go to court to deal with a weapons charge that he had in San Diego. And as he was walking out of court, he was thus arrested by the feds who say, yo, in a separate gun case, we seen you on Instagram live with a weapon. You a felon. You can't do that. So Boosie had been tweeting from jail or somebody within his team letting us know that he originally had a $50,000 bond, but the feds were trying to revoke it and keep him behind bars Apparently, they heard like a threat Boosie previously made to his security team, and they just thought Boosie should remain in, in jail until his next court hearing. Boosie's out now, though, and, and Boosie's going to let you know how he feels about everything. Boosie had actually took to Twitter to say that the judge had granted him a bond. He paid for a cash amount. The prosecution refused to respect the judge's decision. They showed me no evidence of me being a flight risk or danger to my community. The prosecutor, Mr. Wheat, looked at me singing, wiped me down and shook his head with a look of evil in his eyes. Boosie said he need the people of San Diego outside the court. And by the way, people actually showed up to hold Boosie down. Uh, tomorrow, the protest is injustice that is being done to me. I need all my prayer warriors across the world to pray this Southern District of California removed Mr. Wheat and this prosecution of my case even my attorneys have never seen nothing like this in their careers. Help me fight this injustice and say a prayer for my freedom where now Boosie technically has his freedom as he is currently out on a bond. Look, I'd be a hypocrite to, you know, call out Boosie for protecting himself. We are living in dangerous times. And oftentimes I see one, you know, community be looked at as protectors of their home when I when they have weapons. And another community look like threats. So I can't be a, a guy to sit here and say, yo, you know, Boosie um, shouldn't have had a weapon on even being a felon. He's still, it's still a dangerous world. That doesn't change the world. I just think if anything, the Instagram live stuff is dumb. Nevertheless, I want to switch this here though, because Boosie has clearly made it a point of emphasis. I mean, the man got on Instagram live immediately once he got home or got out of jail. I want to have a different conversation. Boosie's in his early forties. What are the chances that Boosie's becomes one of the three or four most famous rappers alive? I'm not asking you about who is your, your greatest rapper alive, who is bar for bar your goat, who is the person that you bumped the most. I'm talking about most recognizable faces in our world from a rap standpoint. To me, without a shadow of a doubt, the most famous rapper alive today is Snoop Dogg. And I don't even think it's close. I think Snoop's clearly the most famous rapper alive. Now, if we incorporated dead or alive, I think Tupac is by far the most famous, recognizable face in ever associated with rap. So I got Pac one, Snoop two, but since Snoop's, you know, alive and Pac is not with us anymore, I got Snoop one. I don't know who I have in my top five, maybe like somebody like 50 Cent, Maybe Jay-Z. I'm going to throw Ice-T in there maybe because he's obviously on one of the biggest shows ever in Law & Order. I might even throw LL Cool J in there because he's also on 
you know, uh, television, local channel television on a, 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 you know, criminal show. Those are, that's my short list, but let me know who y'all think I'm leaving out. Who are some of the more recognizable faces in rap ever? I, you could maybe throw a Wayne out there, a Drake out there. Name me some of your more recognizable faces and recognizable personalities. Like I'm thinking Boosie is going to be involved in so much stuff over the next decade because he comments on everything and everybody. I think in the next 10 years, when Boosie gets to about 50, 51, I think he would have been and hopped into that top five of most recognizable rappers ever. When you incorporate the fact that this man also has probably the most iconic hairstyle in hip hop ever, the Boosie fade, I, I got a feeling, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that one. Boosie's home. It's uh, in a more entertaining world with Boosie no longer incarcerated. They said he's about to run to Glad TV. You know, some of my subscribers, they hit me up and they let me know uh, sometimes when Boosie goes on a rant when he's doing an interview with Vlad, he calls him Glad. So we call him the Glad TV nowadays. That's a triple entendre, by the way, in my title of this video. Uh, you make sure y'all give me some points for calling it Glad TV. That is a triple entendre. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. I'm not finna explain my bars to y'all, but that is a triple entendre, by the way. Who else you know can give you a triple entendre in a title? And I'm not a rapper. All right, Glad TV, ladies and gentlemen. Boosie is home. Time, love, and support. What your boy would never take for granted, I'm out. What's up, everybody? It's yours truly. I'm the one and only. I'm your boy, Ferro. If you are enjoying the great quality content, make sure you put yourself in position to get more of your boy. For music news, updates, and commentary, make sure you're following and subscribe to me on Facebook and YouTube at It's Mr. Teleferro. For basketball news, highlights, and commentary, make sure you're following and subscribe to me on Facebook and YouTube at Hoops Ferro. It's free 99 to you. It truly means the world to me. Let's run these numbers up. I appreciate the time, love, and support.